Uh, there's been a lot of talk about Acolyte and how it has been breaking canon for Star Wars. And we wanted to have some conversations talking about well, what are issues that people are having that are breaking canon and what are things of like what we know and does it break canon, sure. does it not. Um, and I think there's a lot of wiggle room with some of this stuff too because there's lots of old legend stuff, right? Um, <clears throat> we don't have twin siblings of Han and Leia yeah. that was legends, mm-hmm. but we have been. Right, well, like that's we, yeah. the, the current canon of what kids we have from them, right? We do. So who's in a dyad with Ray? Yeah, you know. So you kind of have that theme almost in a way. Right? Sure. So like, there's things like that where it's like, oh no, they broke the canon. It's like, well, legends is legends, and what is the current canon, and mm-hmm. what do we know, and what can we, you know, pull from what we're seeing from Acolyte so far? Sure. Yeah. And you know, I mean, <clears throat> look, I've had a complicated last couple of days with the internet and how it talks about things like I'm I'm actually kind of perturbed and upset by how the fandom has been not just you know I have and I have said this a million times like I do not I literally do not care and it's going to sound bad like I don't care how you feel I only care about how I feel sure but I will listen and I will, whenever there are good faith arguments be like oh okay that's a good point I didn't think about it that way or that's not how it hit me Art hits us differently. There's this kind of weird, in my opinion, weird feeling that like up above us, hanging above all art is the good. And we all can compare this art to the good. But that's a fantasy. There is no good. There is no bad. It's just how does it make you feel? If it doesn't make you feel that great and you're not responding, you are well within your right to be like, I felt this was bad. But there's nothing objective about that. You know? Sure. It doesn't mean you're wrong for feeling that way. Absolutely. And it doesn't mean someone else is wrong for yeah. liking it. Yeah, right? this isn't math. This isn't science. This isn't like cold, hard truths that we need to be able to comport to reality for or anything like that. This is storytelling. The storytellers need the freedom to tell their stories that reflect what they want to say, not what I want to hear, <laughs> you know? Sure. And sometimes that doesn't work. Yeah. And when that doesn't work, it can be upsetting, especially if it's something that you really enjoy, something like Star Wars. I certainly have had moments where I'm like, oh, that didn't work for me. But I have – what I, I only use this word just because I used to be a, a Christian. Like, I have grace enough to, like, suspend my belief enough, even when I'm not enjoying something, to still grant the storyteller the room to tell that story. Sure. And I just feel like that's, like – just gone. I don't know what happened to it. Sure. Like, like recently, no one, no recently one... we talked about some things that like we don't like in Star Wars. Yeah. Like one of those being like in Episode Nine. Mm-hmm. I think they could have shown better the "I'm all the Jedi" kind of moments. Yeah. I, I, I believe that was one I had in there mm-hmm. where I, I've seen some fan versions of that. And I'm like, man, that feels so much better, and I like that version a Absolutely. lot more. Yeah. You know. But that doesn't mean that that story is wrong. It just means for me, it doesn't hit the sure. way I want it to hit. It could yeah. have been. I feel like more more engaging in that. Yeah. Um, I mentioned what we were talking today. I mentioned one today where I'm like, man, I should put that on my list. I have always hated when Yoda says goodbye to Chewbacca in episode three. <laughs> I don't know why. Just because I've always felt like, why does he care that much? He's Frank Oz sounds like it's his best friend. Goodbye, Chewbacca. Miss you. I will. <laughs> you know? Sure. And I've always been like, why is he so like, I like, it feels like they just like know each other from, yeah, the, how do, the, do they the, know each other from before? I do, guess, I don't know. Didn't he just sh- come here yeah. recently? <laughs> What's going it's, on? Uh, but those are things where, like, I can take it and be like, it doesn't ruin anything else, you know? Sure. But uh, anyway, I don't know. There's, I feel like there's been a, kind of like a, a, a lack of grace l- recently in the fandom. But I should preface that by saying, like, you know, that's what happens whenever you don't like something a bunch in a row. You then go into the next thing a little more apprehensive and the next thing a little more apprehensive to the point where... And me and you, we recognized this when we started doing like trailer reactions for the Acolyte. Like we saw footage from the Acolyte at Star Wars Celebration last year, and I was just like, "Oh my gosh, I can't wait to see that fighting! I can't wait to see someone that's gonna, you know, these types of stories to be told." Yeah. Like just the attempt, I'm excited by, mm-hmm. you know. But there was a concerned effort to, to, rob that grace from people when this show like started to come up. Before like, it people even had, came out, right? People were saying the things they're saying right now before it came out. Yeah. You know? Um, yeah. I, 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 I saw people say, like, this show's terrible. Yeah. And it hadn't even released yet. And I'm like, how do you know? Mm-hmm. Like, how do you know it's terrible when you haven't seen anything yet? Sure. And then they, so, like, give, I'm all, still, they give all your buzzwords. Yeah. And I'm still <laughs> waiting for, like, some of the story to come out so I can be like, okay, 
now that we've had the full season, yeah. what are my feelings about that? So I'm mm-hmm. looking forward to next Badonka Gong to really be able to dive into yeah. like how do I feel about the story that we yeah. did get and, and is I, it is it something that I wanted? I agree. Or or you know, where do I stand with that? And there are people that have different standards with that. There's people like I give it one episode. If the pilot doesn't catch me, then I don't watch it. Sure. Uh, there's Rick, he's like, I do four episodes, you know? There's me and you that are more like, I want to see an entire season, like up to a stopping point that like, and now you can stop watching because I, I like episodic. I mean, sure. Flash well, Gordon is episodic. You know, that's what Star Wars was based the, off. The of. book that we just read, the first few chapters, I wasn't like real hooked into, mm-hmm. you know, but once I got into the middle of it yeah. and once I got to the ending, I was like, dude, I really want to see more and see where the story goes. Yeah. But if I would have just stopped in the first like couple of chapters, mm-hmm. I probably wouldn't have had that feeling. Man, I don't, I'm not missing anything. I'll be okay, sure. you know? But, like, it's that the whole yeah. of it. Like, what's the whole story? And that's what I'm waiting for for the Acolyte to see. Yeah. So, But then you have arguments that, like, you know, I purposely, a lot of people will ask, like, how do you still like stuff? You like everything. Why do you like that? Because I don't engage with the feedback on the Internet. Like, I generally don't. I hang out with you, with, with my friends, you know? Mm-hmm. We have, like, that in-person experience. And then I usually don't engage with it other than, like, rewatching it on my own. Uh, every once in a while, I'll be like, well, with some other reactors, what did they say? You know, that type of thing. But the Acolyte, like, the, the, just the fan response has just been so, like, vile and full of contempt, you know? Which I can understand if it's, if you're a person that I just haven't liked Disney stuff for a long time. Now it's come to a head. Like, I get that, but, like, some of the things that are being brought up as of, like, objective facts, like, this thing breaks canon. Like, it doesn't. <laughs> no, no, it doesn't. I, I don't know how to, like, kindly say that without being, like, insulting. Sure. You know? Okay. It feels like you're just looking for problems. Like, I personally don't go into art looking for problems. I go into art to have an experience. Sure. You don't look at you a know? painting and be like, I think they use yeah. the wrong brush here. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, you know, Yoda tells Luke, like, don't bring your weapons with you into the Cave of Evil. That's a bad idea. And Luke's like, eh, I'm bringing them anyway, you know? But because he brings them, he finds conflict. Yeah. You know? A lot of people went in to this show with their blaster belts clipped in, being like, I'm going to go see what's wrong with this show, you know? And it's, it's not a lot – like, as a, as a viewer, like, you're required to bring your suspension of belief at least to say, like – it's like going into a wrestling show and being like, hey, I think this is all fake. <laughs> you know, it's like, no, you idiot. It's a wrestling show. Yeah. Give yourself into it. It's a space fantasy show with wizards. Yeah. You know? The like, more you lean into it, the you're more You're meant it can to be. just kind of have fun, not get super angry, and then, you know, go whine about it on the internet. But if that's what, how it makes you feel, I have to confront the way that criticism makes me feel, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, but I'm, I'm trying to, like, make my peace with it because – Last night, looking through some stuff, which is the first time I've ever looked through, like, some Star Wars, like, internet stuff in a long time, it just kind of confirmed to me, like, oh, yeah, it's a real good idea that I don't do this. (laughs) Sure. I I might never do it again. (laughs) There's definitely a lot out there, and, like, I I know some people, too, that, like, they were real big Star Wars fans, and more and more in the Disney era, they're Mm kind of like, you know what, I don't think I'm a Star Wars fan anymore. I just, I like Star Wars, but I don't think I'm a fan. And I'm like, I think that's fine. If, 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 if you've grown out of it i suppose or if you've gotten to the point where like these stories aren't connecting with you mm-hmm. that's fine enjoy the star wars you like and then if you don't want to see more you don't have to see more you know yeah, i'm perfectly like, fine with that but like i'm at the same point of like yeah. if you if you like game of thrones and you just mm-hmm. want to watch game of thrones you don't have to watch house of the dragon you yeah. know if you don't like house of the dragon just yeah. watch the ones you like my, my but that doesn't mean the people watching house of the dragon need to be ridiculed yeah. or told how wrong they are yeah it, but know? there's this i don't know I'm trying to choose my words correctly there's this um kind of aggressive ownership a certain type of fan will have over star wars and they'll come up and they'll tell you hey you having a good time well you shouldn't and here's why and then they give all these reasons and if i don't agree with those reasons they go huh, shill you know like it gets so aggressive and so and i'll, I'll well, just use i'll use the word the- arrogant to be like no, no no my opinion is so right it is now jumped into the realm of objective which fails as a sure. start <laughs> and, <laughs> you know? and then the other opinion is dismissed as well you're exactly. just a shill or whatever and it, yeah. your opinion isn't valid Which, at all i mean and, you know i keep saying it. i don't know how much you agree or anybody else agrees but like we're very politically charged right now you know especially in the united states of america because we have an election coming up and 
election years, like p- politics and the way that you talk about things go from like, we have a disagreement to if you think differently, you're an immoral thug, <laughs> you know, like both sides of the spectrum do this. It's we're, the system's designed to keep us fighting so that we don't unify on other things, you know, that's just how it works. But right now we have the combination of AI getting very, very, very powerful. And that is including with all technology, including bots and the way that engagement is farmed the way that like your aggression and the the things that rile you up are brought to the forefront there's just like a perfect storm especially around the acolyte that perplexes me but not in that you know if someone doesn't like you know the story beats and stuff i'm perfectly fine with that but there seems to be like a real uh agenda of animosity this time that i have not felt in any other point in star wars it's disappointing. Sure. Because, man, when I was a kid and I would just, I would leave the theater, watch an epi- you know, episode two, Attack of the Clones, I'm going to go online and talk about it. And it was just all these, you know, primarily older fans just shitting on it. Like, this is the worst movie ever. George Lucas doesn't understand Star Wars. Not like I do. <laughs> you know, like the arrogance of that statement a little, a little way. Like, I understand not liking something, but not liking something to that point, I I hated that. That was the worst part. And I always remember being like, I, and I, I truly don't feel like the sequels got to that point. I mean, it's certainly louder now just because there's more people online. Mm-hmm. But the vitriol of the prequel hate back in the early 2000s was like scary. And maybe that was more just because of my age. But like it feels scarier this time than it had even in the sequel era. Yeah, for me, I don't sure. know, I'm not really sure why, but I, mean, I am sure why. Just because, like, you're getting all of these buzzwords and all of these uh, like w- ways of speaking that you generally reserve for more objective uh, discussions mm-hmm. than you do something like art, you yeah. know? And it's just, it's real strange. Sure, I'm just really uncomfortable right now as a fan. <laughs> well, let's move away from your ranting. Yeah, sorry, and, I am ranting. And get into some of the canon conversations. Yes. Uh, before we run out of time, and hopefully we can snag a few questions as well. But, okay. Uh, I want to start off, I think, with uh, – I think Yadi Mundi is one of the best ones to start with. Mm-hmm. Um, the first one that happened was uh, before Acolyte even came out. Yeah. And there's like, oh, there's a guy with a red lightsaber. Mm-hmm. People are like, but Yadi Mundi said the, the Sith have been extinct for a millennia. The Sith have been extinct for a millennia. Right? Yeah. So – we're breaking canon by even having this red lightsaber mm-hmm. dude in within what sure. a thousand years, right? That's yeah. a hundred years ago. Mm-hmm. So I kind of want to talk about that. And like, mm-hmm. does what we're seeing in acolyte break what he says necessarily? Yeah. Um, from my perspective, and I, this is why I also want to make sure I wait until acolyte comes out. Cause mm-hmm. uh, once it's all released, we'll have a better idea of like, what is a story? Because it could be something where it's like, this is something that's being hidden by the Jedi, where I really feel like the Acolyte is showing us like some fall of the Jedi into the prequel era where mm-hmm. the fall actually happens. Yeah. Um, but the Jedi have to change from what they are at one point to being really solely, I don't know, almost owned by the Republic. You know what I mean? Like they're doing what the Republic wants for the most part. Yeah. They're becoming their generals and their soldiers, which is so many times like, well, I can't fight a war for you. You know? It's like, well, they do later. <laughs> you, know? Yeah. you know? So... I think uh, the idea of the Sith could have been referring to various things or could have been a cover-up from Kyari Mundi. Either one is, I think, possible for me. Because, hmm. like, we also have, like, you know, only two there are, an apprentice and a master. But then when you get into the Clone Wars, you have Ventress. You have a Savage Press. We talked about Inquisitors and stuff, too. It's like, well, those are guys with li- red lightsabers. Like, sure. Are they Sith or are they not yeah. Sith? Or are they... You know, they refer to Ventress as an assassin. I would say time, you know? casual Star Wars fans will just say, oh, they're Sith, they're Jedi, that makes sense. You yeah. know, even though we know that's not the case. And the word Sith hasn't been uttered in the Acolyte. Sure. Yet, right? No, not at all. I don't think so. We're, I mean, we're bringing that to it. So much of it, like, people are like, what, are, what is that? Yeah. Like, that, we got that in the last episode of, like, what are you or what mm-hmm. is that? And no one yeah. knew. Yeah. But is that because they've never seen a sure. Sith? Is it a Sith? Is it a Dark Jedi? Which was yeah. a thing common in the old Republic era where. Jedi fell, yeah. became corrupted, but they didn't become Sith. They yeah. just were dark Jedi. Um, I mean, right now, as it stands, I don't think there's any actual real argument to say that it breaks canon. Um, I would f- go further on that it feels like, and I'm not sure if this is actual the case, but it feels like 
I mean, they put the guy that said that in there, you know, that feels a little more targeted. He's also the guy that's like, he's a political idealist, not a murderer. Like, Kai and Mundy tends to be the Jedi that says shit that's like, that's wrong. Oh, that's wrong. <laughs> you, you know, know what? He was a murderer. I, 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 I guess. He killed Yaddle. <laughs> yeah. You don't think about that. or I don't, I don't I'm not really sure. But Maybe when he wrong. says the Sith have been mistaken for millennia, like, we all know he's incorrect about that, you know? Yeah. But from the point of view of the Jedi, would they see, I don't know. Like, right now, they don't have, like, a report of a red lightsaber-wielding killer out sure. there, right? Right now, they just have uh, a competent assassin killing Jedi. That's all they know, yeah. correct? Yeah. yeah, and they believe that a previous Jedi trained yeah. this. They're trained in the Jedi arts, yeah. and the the Jedi are going to have the hubris that the Sith have, were so utterly defeated, there are no, there's none coming back. They haven't been here for 900 years, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know? So, so, um, also, yeah, like I mentioned before, too, uh -huh. perhaps he's referring to Sith as like the Sith species, less than the Sith like religion, mm. like that, okay. that type of look, you know, like Palpatine's a Sith, mm -hmm. but he's, you know, we mentioned the Sith species that existed a long time ago. Oh. Now, that's all in legends. I don't believe any of it's canon currently, yeah, but that's also a possibility huh. that he could be okay. mentioning. I didn't maybe, think about you know? that one. <laughs> So, I don't know. Uh, I'll be curious to see how the Acolyte plays out with that a little bit. But you're keeping options open. And yeah. I don't le think... Letting it, stories tell themselves, not going yeah. online and getting upset. I don't think I need to be <laughs> upset that he said that, uh -huh. because, as you said, too, he's been wrong about things. We yeah. know he's wrong because the Sith have been existing, mm -hmm. because Palpatine, Plagueis, you know, mm -hmm. uh, Tenebra... Tenebra, Tenebra Plagueis' master. <laughs> you, might, you might learn how to say it. <laughs> I might learn how to say it one day. In the next couple of weeks. Maybe yeah. in the next couple of weeks. We never know. Maybe. So, like, we know Sith have existed, so we know he's wrong, mm -hmm. but... Um, mentioning Kiati Mundi being in it, I know a lot of people were upset saying that canonically now his age is different. How so people are upset by this? I'm sorry, this one is like the funniest one to me. How many people that are real upset do you think knew that fact before they that knew how they, old they he went was online and said the acolyte breaks canon? Here was kind, here's the source, and here's the source. Like, what do you think the percentage of the people that are upset like knew that fact? I, I feel like it's it came from like a YouTuber, or it came from like an article, mm -hmm. and then everyone latched onto it sure. and has grown from there. I don't yeah. figure because I couldn't have told you how old Keanu Mundi was. No, and before. you're a, I would have you're to look a fucking, it up. You're a super fan. <laughs> I would have had to like most of the council. I would have to look up when uh -huh. we were talking about what what Jedi might yeah. show up. I was looking up like how old are some of sure. these Jedi council members. Yeah, but if you said like, oh, you know what, Adi Gallia is yeah. actually 150 years old. She sure. just ages like yeah. very well. I mean, like, Han, dang, okay. Han well, she's Solo's in. age has changed. Uh, Andor's age changed. When you know, remember that being a thing. It's like, well, that doesn't work with this, you know. But we're telling stories here, you know, like sure. fake fictional stories that aren't always going to be perfect. But you know, the Kayani Mundi the, thing. I, I when I first read that, I was like, no. No, surely not. They're not. Re that's not. That can't be serious. There's got to be an element of like tongue in cheek there. I think right? so. Also, the canon change is that it's from legends, not even that it's from something currently in canon. Yeah. Right. Oh, so absolutely. it's not like it. Yeah. This was set in Clone Wars, yeah. and now we're retconning that. Have, yeah. This is something that was similar to like the Han and Leia having twins. Mm -hmm. That isn't the case anymore. Yeah. It's a change in the in the current canon mm -hmm. that we're going with, not what the old yeah. canon had. So yeah. it's not one of those things where I'm like, I don't feel like this is breaking canon. We don't canonically have this information. We mm -hmm. just have the Legends information, you know? Yeah. So. Yeah. I mean, that stuff went out. <laughs> Man, it would have been crazy to see today's, like, Star Wars fan culture, like, exist when the Clone Wars was coming out. And it was just decanonizing. The Republic comics. Like, all of the EU stuff that was coming before. How many times did Shock T die? Yeah, Shock T, when did she die? Even Peel, when does he die? Uh, e. Koth, did he die or did he not, you know? And, like, <laughs> I showed you that video today when we were talking about it, of Dave Filoni talking yeah. about E. Koth, and he goes up to George and he's like, hey, can I, is E. Koth dead or alive? And George is like, who cares? <laughs> Tell stories. That's what he does. I mean, Lucas did that to his own material, you know? Like, this... Even if you want, if if you do, if you call it a continuity break, like pales in comparison to some of the continuity breaks Lucas does, you know, why are we being so precious with this? This is a, it's a, it, I don't think anybody takes Star Wars more seriously than I do, but it's a space show that we're having fun with. I don't know how this argument, this, you know, changing Coyote Mundy's age from a tops card or reference book or whatever. Yeah. breaks canon it's such a disingenuous argument to, and it makes you want to throw out all the other arguments 
which is a pitfall. You don't do that. that that's just is just a commentary on that one argument. Sure. I, and there's arguments in there. I'm like, I, I don't feel that way, but I can see that, you know? Sure. But this one, I'm just like, I, I don't know if I... I don't want to be conspiracy theorist, but I don't know if anybody actually is upset by this. Or if they're just looking for, like, you know... People looking for yeah. things. I get what you mean. I, yeah. I they think, might be, and I'm just wrong. So, I, I, I want to keep that completely open that I'm just wrong. But this I, one, I was just like, I think no, like, come on. <laughs> like, I've seen people upset that, like, oh, no, the Wookiee Jedi's dead, and I was really excited for that Wookiee to be... Fair, yeah. ...to fight. I want to see him fight yeah. and be a Jedi. How cool would that be? Yeah. And I had that feeling, too, and that's why it worked for me, because it was taken from me, you know? Sure. And I'm like, oh, my God. And that's why having the, the Sith lord or i don't know who, who he is come down there like entering that scene he's like i've taken that from you i'm gonna take all this now too and that's when you when you end that i'm like oh my gosh what what happens next that's sure. what i love about entertainment and storytelling and the opposite of that is just i don't know complaining for the sake of complaining <laughs> you know sometimes i yeah. get what you mean which if you enjoy you know good on you i just like if if that's your opinion that's your opinion what I, gets me kind of upset like i was super upset reading some of the comments and stuff last night on our videos it's like when you have to come in and to to validate your opinion you need to vilify mine which is just it's it's, all, it's, it's, it's i'm trying it's, not to cuss too much because i get upset with this but it's it's anti-art sure it's, it's ridiculous you've 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 failed wholeheartedly when you do that you know i don't know sure well and like there there was talking about kiati's Kiari Mundi's age was mm -hmm. the the Wikipedia is where everyone goes to get mm -hmm. information. Heck, I go there a lot of times to try to find information for things. Yeah. And the fact that it was changed and then people who change it because, well, here's what the canon is, so I got to change our encyclopedia mm. of Star Wars. So, so they got death threats yeah. I thought was ridiculous. I don't – Like, that's not – I don't know how you can watch a show like Star <laughs> Wars and, like, look at those values and, like, what is this yeah. thing actually trying to tell you and then do this type of thing. It's so sure. antithetical, like to the point where I'm like, okay, this is this is dumb culture war stuff. It should be dismissed as it is, you know, dumb. But these are real people getting real death threats because they updated information in real time as they watched it. You know, like I, I've read those, you know, those things too. Like people are like talking about it like it's some conspiracy that like, like some kind of like Watergate stuff where they went in and tried to like to to do it while the episode was happening so no one would notice or something i'm like it's just it's just some guy who puts a lot of time into trying to make sure that whenever you look up star wars information it's as reliable as possible that's what wikipedia does i'm so grateful for the people at wikipedia and to hear that they're going through that stuff that just bullshit is it's so embarrassing you know I agree. Like, no, I don't think the Wikipedia. Hey, are thing you is a all. Star Wars fan? Just, yes, I am. Oh, are you one of those guys that like attack people because you know they updated what a Wikipedia article? It's like, no. <laughs> well, I'm it's the same thing. I like uh, the Such hate, the hate that thing. Jake Lloyd got because people didn't like prequels. The hate yeah. that Ahmed Best got because they didn't like Jar Jar. The hate yeah. that, uh, um, dang it, Rose. Uh, I can't even name Kelly mm -hmm. Marie, Kelly Marie Tran. Tran. Yeah, the hate that it. she got because people didn't like Rose mm -hmm. or they didn't like the sequel trilogy. Like that stuff is the things where I always think it's too far. Mm -hmm. Where it's like you don't need to do that. You yeah. can say the things you don't like. You can stop watching it. You can boycott it. You can you can do stuff like that. Yeah. But to like do death threats and to hate on mm -hmm. a person because you didn't like the direction yeah. that this TV show or this movie went I know. is I think too far. Yeah. That's ridiculous to yep. me. Like to attack the real person because you yep. don't like the character. And then past all that there's also just this real concerned like uh effort to if you do like it to like go and like attack those people i've seen it happen you know kyle katarn has gone through it i saw star wars explained going through some of it we I, i've never seen like the pushback of just people enjoying something you know that we've gotten on our videos um again a lot of it feels disingenuous but it's just it's so di it's so disappointing Sure. And embarrassing. Yeah. Um, the last one I had for cannon breaking kind of thing. Cannon breaking, uh, yes. Was we've had these twins that were born. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's a mention that there's no father involved with these twins being born. Yes. And a lot of people are, seem to be upset that the idea of Anakin, also born in a similar fashion, yeah. was special and the chosen one. And they feel like this breaks that canon and makes him less special I, and, and ruins that aspect. I feel it. like this one is more defensible than the Coyote Mundy age one. I still don't agree with it. Uh, I think that 
one of them is the force acting and the other one is two people making a choice and using the force to carry out that choice. It's wholly different. You know, like if a priest comes up to me and like punches me, you know, I'm, I, I might be like, dang religion, you know, but if God parts and comes down and punches me, I might be like, okay, oh my God, that's, this is way different, <laughs> you know? Sure. So, like, in one of them, the force, is, you know, conceives Anakin through the midichlorians. In the other one, two witches do magic, <laughs> yeah. you know? Like, they're, they are different. But l l l I'm not to say they're completely different and thus it is not to be compared. That's not true. No. They are to be well, compared, sure. This could be, but it doesn't break canon. That's fuck. Oh, I'm sorry. This could be a step that's talking about, um, yeah. uh, we, we've seen Sidious use what looks to be a little bit more of a witchy magic than the blue just fire. the force, yeah. right? Yeah, in Rebels, we have that yeah. kind of thing happening. And through we also had Son, Son of Dathomir. Son of Dathomir, yeah. Where we, they've learned and taught each mm -hmm. other, and he's learned, and was going to take an apprentice yeah. in uh, Mother Talzin. And and I, stuff, I right? love how we read that, and Calvin was like, huh, do you think, like, the Sith learned anything from the Dathomirian witches when it came to, like, you know, changing, like, non-life to life? You know, because they, they have, like, the zombie thing, and they brought back, you know, Maul from the brink, and they turned this, you know, Savage Repress, who seemingly had no force ability or power, into a force-powered monster, <laughs> you yeah. know? Like, all that stuff is in there. That stuff comes directly from George and Dave and yeah. those original Clone Wars meetings, you know? Yeah. So, like, there's definitely, I feel like there's elements of that with yeah. the witchiness. That's maybe mm -hmm. things that Palpatine learns, you know, from Mother Talzin or something. Yeah. Or maybe Plagueis does. So, like, if there is a connection, and we don't exactly have answers of, like, how Anakin came to be. If it was strictly the Force, if it was what Plagueis was doing. Since Plagueis yeah. is kind of not canon. But, I mean, he's I, canon, I, but, like, the stories aren't. So and like, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want that answer. Sure. Either, you know? Yeah, you some know? people don't, right? In fact, there was a, there was a comic book that kind of, like people thought gave more of an answer and the comic book artist or uh, writer had to come out and say, no, 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 that's not what I mean <laughs> to get away from the, you know, Plagueis Palpatine creating Anakin thing. Yeah. You know? Cause like some people, that's their speculation of what's mm -hmm. going on with it. And I think even if it is, I think a lot of that has to stem from something, right? Yeah. You have to like, well, wh where did that come from? How'd they get that idea? And these witches messing and changing and doing something to do this, I think can be like yeah. one of the starts of what we learn of that happening. Sure. And is this the first time? Um, I think we were talking at one point, and, and it wasn't like when uh, it wasn't like Qui Gon came over to the council and talked to them. It was like, "Hey, look, he's a he's a kid. He ain't got no father." Yeah, and they're like, "What?" Yeah, they didn't freak out. No, they were like, "Eh, I don't think we're gonna train him." <laughs> yeah, they're like, "Eh, nothing, nothing it special seemed, here." It seemed like a relatively important detail that, like, hey, the midichlorians themselves conceived this child. Do you think that's a message from the, the very <laughs> god that we worship? Nah, probably not. You said ship and cup a lot. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, but again, that's what that's hubris of the Jedi as well, right? Sure. Yeah. But no, I mean, and especially with this one being uh, uh, resulting in twins, I think is a really cool way to uh, to go about it too, right? Because it's not just Anakin alone, uh, and because he's alone, he's trying to possess people you know because he has nothing mm -hmm. he's trying to possess his mother trying to possess his wife to have them and keep them because mm -hmm. those are his like this is a, a, a dyad if you will you know two people that uh if anything like they haven't gone into the like you know like have you ever heard like weird twin stuff sure like weird twin facts they can like i don't know they, can, I mean, like, they sense each other or, yeah or, or like if you watch twins yeah like danny devito burns his hand sure or Arnold's yeah like, oh. like if anything i want more <laughs> sure There's, they haven't gone far enough for me sure no i get yeah. you I get what you mean. Mm -hmm. um, that's all I had for some of the canon breaking things that I yeah. had seen. I hadn't dove deeply, but those are some of the main things I saw people kind of complaining about mm -hmm. for like, well, I feel like this breaks the canon. So yeah. um, I kind of wanted to see what other people thought. If you guys had anything yeah. um, and see if we can take a few questions, mm -hmm. though it is five o'clock and we haven't taken any, but I do want to see if we can grab a few things and maybe talk about a couple things. Yeah. Um, which we are talking about Joey, who asked about how we felt about Chris and the Acolyte. I think Eric covered a lot of that already. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I mean, it's been hang, weighing heavily on my mind. So um, let me see if I can find something that is – I'd like to find something related to the Acolyte in yep. some way or fashion. Um, Ryan, we covered, talks about uh, discourse with, yeah, uh, Wikipedia, Star Wars Theory, uh, things with that. Uh, uh, you, 
they do say that we're uh, such a positive force in Star Wars mm-hmm. fan base, uh, in my eyes, and true safe space for fans. We try to be, so we'd like to be able to talk about it. I do think there's ways to criticize without being like vile. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? No, oh, absolutely. Um, which I thought I saw I, someone say something about that. Like, how can you give constructive criticism about something you're not liking from Star Wars without yeah. it being so on the other side? Sure. Right. Yeah. And I think a lot of that is is just discussing the things you don't like about it, but also listening to the other side and how they feel. But not don't you don't have to push their side down. And I think this works on both sides too. Mm-hmm. Like if I'm like, man, I'm liking the acolyte. I think it's a lot of fun. Yeah. And then someone comes to me and I'm like, oh man, Kiati Mundi's age thing. I'm really mad about that. Yeah. And I'm like, oh really? And I can be like, well, why are you mad about it? Yeah. And we can have a conversation hopefully about it versus me being like, well, that's dumb. Why are you mad about yeah. that? Like my, my, having that conversation, I think is what helps. My advice is just. Don't do what the internet and social media has trained you to do, which is like trying to just have a very complex thought in a couple sentences by using words that ultimately can mean anything. So people, different people, when they see those words, will be like, "Oh, I know what they mean," but you really don't mean that. You know, words sure. like woke, words, you know, terms like DEI, that type of thing. While I think that in politics, sure, they can have a utilization, they really don't have much of a of a place for in. I- criticism in my opinion i personally i feel like we get this all the time you guys never talk about the stuff that you like i i I would challenge that you do not listen to our videos that we don't like i talk yeah i talk about stuff i don't like all the time i'm just i and this maybe this is uh conceited of me to say but i think i'm good at talking about things i like because people don't notice (laughs) it's just me talking (laughs) you know yeah but you notice whenever some of these other people start and they do it because of the engagement they get you know I get just, it's it just such a, it's so boring to me. I don't want to do that. Um, but yeah, I think another thing too is when reading, especially if you're on comments and stuff. Yeah. Don't always try to read someone's comment as being very aggressive. Sometimes sure. it's not, but it's easy to read comments yeah. in an aggressive tone. Yeah. Um, I saw someone that said something a little bit more positive, mm-hmm. and someone came at him thinking they just misread it and took it. It's like, dude, that's not what they said. It's like, what? Every- oh shoot, I'm so sorry. Okay. Yeah. So just be careful how you read things because sometimes that that happens. So. You know, people like Star Wars Theory. Like, I used to watch some Star Wars Theory videos, excuse me, back in the day. I really like when he's super passionate about the thing that he's doing, and he's really enjoying the thing he's talking about. But that guy has, either through his own volition or because it's been thrust upon him, he has just sharpened his swords so much over the last how many years that, like, he ha- like he, he cuts people now, you know, w- with the way that he does things, and... It's, it sucks just because I, I, I doubt he enjoys that part of what he's doing, but I think it can be handled a little bit better, hmm. you know? I think that there are certain people that need to show uh, others, like, well, how, how sh- like, the question that you have, like, how do you get across this feeling of, like, hey, I'm really disliking this? It's like, I, I think a lot of people, I would say 90% of the people that I've seen are respectful, but there's that 10% that just either don't care about being respectful or they feel so strongly they don't think they need to care about being respectful. I don't I only know between those two, but, ooh, man, it, it has an effect. Sure. Because I feel like, like I'm enjoying the Acolyte. I don't think it's the best Star Wars thing I've ever seen in my life. And I'm I maybe I'll think by the – we get to the end of it, I'll think, oh, they didn't capitalize on this thing that, I, you know – Sure. I'm setting up like I use my imagination when I'm watching something, sure. you know, to like, and, and to, I think to there's play a way around that, with the stories and stuff. I, I think there's a way that like it could come out where it's like, oh, they did this to change yeah. this up. Well, I don't like that. Mm-hmm. They should have just left it where it was. Yeah. And it's very possible that yeah, it could happen. Sure. But I just I want to see where it goes first yeah. before I get super upset about something, yeah. you know. But and, to the point where like you're attacking people, like you have to call them like you have to create conspiracy theories to justify your opinions. There's no defense to that. Like sure. calling people shills because they like something, you know, it's just. Yeah. Well, and yeah. Star Wars is a thing too. There's no where, merit. Like, I watch it because I want to have fun. Yeah, absolutely. So, like, I go into it wanting to have fun. I, I don't go that's into why it. why I'm here. I don't go into it to be like, <laughs> all right, let me get ready to judge this. Right? And see how harsh I can judge it, you know? It would be from episode two. That's um, why I'm here. <laughs> I do want to hit on uh, ODK FNFO. Okay. Um, it says, I'm not political by any means, sure. but what do you think on the director of Acolyte saying that C-3PO is gay? Mm-hmm. I'm just curious about your opinion on robots having sexual preferences, especially in Star Wars. Well, one, I haven't really heard about it. The one time I heard about it, I thought they said R2 was gay okay. and not 3PO. Okay. Um, but, I mean, 
I watched Solo. There's clearly a Lando L3 relationship of some sort there. Sure. I didn't care. Yeah. <laughs> you know, right. if that would have been C3PO instead, I still don't think I would have cared. I mean, like, mm-hmm. well, you're going to have a relation with whatever you have. You're in space. It can be lonely. You know, sure. you're going you're gonna to do what you're going to do. Yeah. What, whatever. So for me, I like, I don't. I mean, uh, my response. I never. I haven't. I personally haven't heard that because legitimately, I just stay away from that stuff. Maybe. Yeah. Well, I, I also honestly, I think that's a secret sauce of enjoying things. I also <laughs> think it was. I think it was on a panel, and I think was that it? it was some kind of joke that they made. So okay. I don't think it was like them being like, okay, Texas, the, 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 the death. canon yeah. is that they're gay. Context is generally you know what the I mean? death of humor. I understand. So like the the thing I saw was that it was yeah. about R two D two, and mm-hmm. that it was a joke, and then everyone yeah. got upset because like, oh my god, he's gay. Yeah. And it's like, it, it was it was a joke, but also as on the idea of like. Robots having sexual preferences. I'm pretty sure L3 had a sexual preference. L3 also had a robot preference to be like, free the robots. We mm-hmm. shouldn't be slaves. Yeah. I wasn't mad about that either. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah, know, yeah. like the robot, robots don't have preferences because they're uh-huh. programmed not to, but should they well, go on long they don't enough? They sexually and reproduce, so they wouldn't have an expression of sexuality. No. So like- Unless the a- it's programmed. Once the AI starts yeah. to become a little bit more self-aware, mm-hmm. it's it fought up against slavery. It- had some kind of like interest in Lando Calrissian, yeah. you know, like there was definitely like something about this robot, yeah. and none of that bothered me. Sure, yeah. So if 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 C three PO was gay, uh, I don't know what that means. Whatever, he's a robot. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care. Would you say like I, if I, if Leslie Headland is that her name? Like uh, if she just like you know opened a door and said R two's gay. Like the first thing I wouldn't be like, Wah! you know, like I would be like, what do you mean? Yeah, <laughs> you what know? does that mean? Yeah, what's maybe there's an interesting thought in there, yeah. but. I, I, it, I don't have an opinion, I suppose. Yeah. I don't know. Are some robots more on the one side and some are more yeah. on the zero side? You might. You prefer zero robots? You know, there's an argument that, I don't know. that the droids are more trans than they are, you know, because you can assign their... You literally can assign their pronouns. Well, sure, right? <laughs> if R2... You can, like, I want 3PO to be male. <laughs> yeah. If R2-D2 was painted differently... Uh, he would look like another droid. K2SO. And, right? Or not K2, not K2 uh, K- uh, KTR2 yeah, or whatever. Right? They'd D2. look very similar, but they're just yeah. painted differently. But, like, that's the girl droid, and that's yeah. the boy droid. And it's like, well, just, it, it really doesn't matter. Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> right? But it sounds like a joke that was taken out of context, and then there is a certain crowd, Aaron, of people that when they hear that, they hear, <gasps> there's an agenda in my Star Wars. <laughs> I must fight it like the noble man I am. Um. The werewolf says, I know it's still 100 years between them, but how much do you think the ending of Acolyte will lead into setting the groundwork for the events of the prequels hmm. and the state of the Jedi plus the galaxy in the prequels? Um, I, I said it before. I don't even think we have to wait till the end of it. I yeah. think the things we've been seeing have mm-hmm. already been kind of leading towards that. Yeah. Um, we're seeing doubt among the Jedi. Sure. Right? The witches are calling them... Uh, I don't remember what the word was, but there was something about like calling them out as monks of... Some kind of religion thing, right? Yeah. Like there was a word they use, and it doesn't feel like the Jedi have like all the respect and all the power. And sometimes it seems like they're kind of failing. Mm-hmm. Uh, Yor did like a mind trick way early on against the Modian yeah. that I thought was like, well, that was a little fast. Sure. Versus yeah. just coming in trying to have a little bit more of a conversation. I felt like he jumped to like what sometimes Jedi, I don't know, I feel like mind tricks are kind of frowned upon a little bit more. Sure. Maybe less so when it's Obi Wan against a stormtrooper because you don't yeah. care about stormtroopers that much, you know. But I, I feel like Jedi mind tricks and messing with the mind or pulling information out yeah. is a little bit more dark sidey. And he jumped to that real quick. Yeah. So I think already in the first four Remember episodes. Remember Poggle the Lesser? Yeah. Kyani Mundy, Mace Windu, and Anakin. Anakin was there. Yeah. Anakin. He and got then, the information. And Anakin gets the information. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. That's the one. So I think that there's like already information there, uh-huh. but I think there's going to be more later uh I, th- I think that's the idea of the acolyte i think we're we're setting up yeah. the downfall of the yeah. jedi before sure. like clearly this is slowly going this way and becoming yeah. more political i'm not sure of what like it's setting up or whatever i i i'm more concerned about just internally the story itself like once the season's over like all right now i can evaluate everything uh you know try to understand you know this point of view versus that point of view that's going to be fun and we've already seen different points of view and i don't think it's over you know mm-hmm. so i think that's going to be fun but i mean people failed to like understand that in the last jedi so i imagine many people will fail to understand it in this <laughs> sure 